Hey and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to customize our marker menus to our liking. So we have menus that we can get to with shortcuts, for example, shift, right mouse button to get some polygons and also the modeling tools. We also have the hotbox, which we can get to with spacebar. To make changes to these menus and to create new ones, we just need to go up to windows, settings and preferences, Marking menu editor. In here, we can either create our own or we can edit an existing one. As an example of a hotbox edit, let's edit the south menu, which is this one down here, spacebar, right mouse button. Right, so then all you need to do is click edit marking menu. Something to note off the bat is that you can test your menu down here in this like little testing zone. Okay, cool. Um, so opposed to right clicking on an item and going to edit, a quicker way is just to middle mouse button drag tools into the menu. For example, we can just drag stuff from the shelf like so. And then right clicking on a item, we can actually turn them into a sub menu. And then populate these with tools. Also notice the box down here, and that's for like a list style of items. So if we drag some tools here, when we just test it, you can kind of see how it works with the two menu buttons just here as a list. Right, so I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to hit close. Right, so now let's go ahead and create our own custom menu. And we can even go ahead and create our own custom command for it. Click create mark and menu. And then just drag a bunch of super useful tools out. Think of a great name and hit save. Cool, right, so just notice down here where it says use marking menu in, and there's a couple of options. So we could choose hotbox and then select where we want it to show up. It's kind of like a compass. But for this example, I'm going to choose hotkey editor. And by the way, I have a whole tutorial on hotkeys, which goes into far more depth than I'm going to in this one. So if you're interested in learning more, you can check that out. Let's just open up the hotkey editor, settings and preferences, hotkey editor. And then all we need to do is search for our menu. I called mine example. And I'm just going to assign a shortcut. I'd never really use this in reality, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll use F1. Click yes. And yes, we want to assign it to the release as well. Just save and close. Right, so now if I hold F1 and then use the left mouse button, I get my new menu. Great. So yeah, this is like really customizable and I'm sure you'll be able to figure out a combination of useful menu items tailored to your specific needs. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.